Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get the bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County, an Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button. Like button helps the channel a lot. Ooh, it looks like we gotta fix that pillar. Uh, sorry if there's an echo in my room. Uh, I don't have many things in my office right now. And uh, it's, uh, it's echoing a bit. So I'm not sure if the mic's picking that up. But uh, what a great shot of uh, that intersection there that we did a little while ago. Uh, back in June um, In today's episode we have a lot planned and a lot of that is stuff that I never got around to last episode So there's a couple things that I missed in our kind of like recap from the past two weeks since I've only been in the city In the past two weeks. I'm only uh, you know recorded last episode other than that It was uh, two weeks ago was the last time I was in the city. So uh, We have a couple more updates to do and then we are going to look at improving the connectivity of the whole city uh, by adding in maybe some new transit options That's enough of a hint unless the title of the episode gave it away. So uh, Let's uh, let's hop out of it and let's start off with a little recap of what we did yesterday So yesterday we built this tourist district down over here. So I got some hotels has a, a cool little observation tower <laughs> Cool little it's pretty big and we also got uh, some pedestrian connections. So this pedestrian connection allows it so that people over here in the tourist area can come and hop on the tram line really easily. And then if we zoom over here, we have a fake connection to this bridge because I don't think you can actually do that. Uh, but uh, you know, in real life, that'd be a perfect option right there, right? wouldn't it? Uh, and then we have this bridge over here, which connects up into our entertainment district and the downtown and Union Station. Uh, there's a lot of other smaller fixes that we did last episode as well, but uh, we're starting out over here today because one, this is kind of what we've been doing the last few episodes, and then two, I'm going to look over here now, and this is our cargo uh, station, our downtown cargo station, and we're going to do a small tweak to it, which hopefully will make a big difference on the amount of traffic using Elk Avenue here and uh, filtering through this intersection, which I gotta say is a bit tight. Uh, one thing we can do right over here that I'm just kind of noticing is we can use a node controller. We're just going to click this button here. It's going to square the node off. And then we're just going to extend it out a little bit to give these trucks a bit uh, more turning uh, capacity. But uh, yeah, it's flowing pretty well. Uh, except there is an opportunity here to really improve traffic from the industrial zone. And that's just to connect this road. So Annabelle Lee to uh, Thomas Street over here in Stephen Street. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, we're first of all, gonna need to move this. And we have a couple of good options here for this. So first of all, I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna delete it, um, just to about here. And then what I will do is I'm going to delete, uh, actually, yeah, let's delete the, these two buildings. Then we're going to lower this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lower it to the same height as this one. So a bit of a steep slope here, but nothing not manageable. Whoa, we're climbing this uh, building over here. Um, and what do I need to do? I need to smoothen out the terrain here. Holy cow. Just make it a bit nicer. We're gonna smooth it underneath the bridge. Even though we can't see it, that's gonna make a big difference for us. All right. And then uh, one other, what the heck happened here? Looks like uh, at one point we grabbed this node and changed its elevation, or did we? Yeah, it looks like both these nodes are a bit off. Interesting, okay, well I'll just raise that up and then I'll raise this one up. And actually, uh, I think it was Mark in the comments said, this shouldn't even be connected, and I agree. But if I do that, then this is gonna show up, so. I don't know. I think we, I think maybe I'll just leave it connected, just for the sake of the fact that this uh, notification is going to show up all the time now. Otherwise, so uh, let's just connect it in. And I shouldn't have uh, messed with it in the first place. Apparently, that's okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this node, and we are going to add to it with our industrial road. Here it is. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pretty much simply 
get a connection in over here. I think what I'll do is we'll turn node snapping off. And I think we'll get it right here. And then we'll try to connect up. Okay, I think we're gonna need to do a lot of maneuvering with some things to get it looking nice. Okay, and I think that's good enough for a truck. But what I'll do is I'll just grab this and I'll rotate it over. There we go. I'll switch this one over to might not be the nicest roundabout now. It looks like this one needs to be lowered a little bit too. Or maybe it's just the shadows, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty, that works pretty good. Uh, pretty much now this kind of roundabout acts, it's a bit of an interchange here for traffic going in and out of this area. It, we probably could just make it a single street, but you know, it kind of gives the opportunity. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna take it out. It's fine. Uh, then let's just grab this road and we'll connect up. And uh, let's just do some maneuvering of the nodes here. And that will uh, really help. So let's also make sure we remove the pavement because we have kind of played around with that a little bit. All right, that works pretty good. We'll do that. Stephen Street now has a connection all the way over here. And oh, I see that pillar. Don't worry. That's this one right here. I'm just gonna hold Alt down. And it's gonna lock it in to a single place. And gotta move this one over. Yeah, that's fine. All right, great. Now we have a connection into our industrial zone for this. And we already have industrial buildings filling in this, the gaps that were left. And we don't really need uh, let's see. We might be able to get one there. But uh, I also think an industrial building here might look nice. So we'll see what pops up. If anything at all. And if nothing pops up, then that's fine. Okay, so that was the first little fix. Hopefully that improves traffic a lot through this area. Giving it like a second lane here to get in and out of uh, this zone. I think what I'll do is upgrade this road here. Uh, we'll start off by just upgrading it simply to this four lane road. Okay, and then I will just use some traffic manager to make sure we have some dedicated turning lanes. Uh, we don't really need a light here. So what I'll do is I'll just put some yield signs over here. And then also over here. Okay, then to encourage it a bit more, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the speed limit on this road to 50. Yeah, okay, perfect. And after that, well, I'm looking right here, we have tons of noise complaints. And I think that's all the way over in Strathcona. Yeah, so people are still complaining about the noise, but you know, that's prime location. I, I'm not gonna change that. Same thing with, uh, with this. They'll just have to deal with it. So we got six noise complaints. Oh, it's uh, the downtown condos, okay. Well, you know, they knew what they were getting into when they moved downtown. So we're just gonna let that happen. Um, all right, so I love the uh, amount of people using this connection. That is great. Oops, just need to move it here. Just gonna lower that down, perfect. All right, so now that we got that in place, uh, yeah, that's working pretty good. Oh, nice, we got a building here. Fantastic, that's all we really needed. And then we also go in here now too. We can just use our surface painter here to fill that in. Make it look like it's all one. Yeah, very good. Oh, I don't know if I showed this. Set up a little food truck stand over here for all the workers. <laughs> okay, so the uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some new places of worship to the city. Um, the city only really has uh, churches and variations of Christian churches. So um, we should definitely expand uh, the city's horizons and uh, over here in all this blank space that we have that's gonna be future development uh, kind of like transition zones between high and low density um, this is gonna be high density over here I think I really want some low density here to kind of split these two areas up 
Uh, but, you know, there's lots of opportunities here to get in some pretty cool developments. And I downloaded some pretty cool assets on the workshop. Uh, like this synagogue. Uh, which I believe was modeled after something. After, like, a, sorry, a real synagogue. Um, but uh, I can't remember which one. So we could put it right here off this main road, off Main Street. Nice. It fits perfectly. It centers itself really nicely with uh, this museum, the art gallery. And we could turn this whole area into like a, a cool little park here, which would be a really interesting uh, area to visit, wouldn't it? There's lots of public transport uh, access through here. Yeah, it's a really cool building. Let's get the sun on it. Yeah, very nice, very nice. It reminds me of a building in Montreal, but I know it's not the one that it's modeled after. All right, so uh, I think it's in North Montreal, like on the island. Uh, I think it's might be in the in Little Portugal. I'm not sure. It's beautiful. Uh, anyway, so this uh, concrete here, this, this brickwork, really reminds me of the brickwork in this um, uh, plaza. So I think if we kind of just do something like this, it could be nice. I wondered if we could move it like this. And it doesn't look like the trees are going to really co cooperate. This one isn't that bad. The blending of the assets, you know? Yeah, those trees are a bit too close to the building. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just put it back. I'll actually just delete it. Because I'm not sure I really, really, really like... Uh, I think we can get it to work, actually. Yeah, we'll get it to work. Okay, just gotta make sure that the bricks kind of line up here. So I'll just scooch this one over. Nice. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the path that we're using here. And... I'm going to turn guidelines off, but node snapping on, and then right about here, I want to connect up. And I wonder if I can, so that's not an, a back, there's no back door there. So we have a couple options here. We can try to squeeze a pathway in between here. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. just raising up the ground. Although it doesn't look horrible. If we uh, kind of maneuver things around a little bit, because if we manage to get this to work, it could look really cool because people will be walking right, over, right around it. Okay, we want nodes. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, I think I just undid it. I did. All right, yeah, look at that. So people are already using it. Okay, and then, oh, and a car, too. Okay, let's grab that node. We'll pull it back again. Let's see with this one. I wonder if the zoo path would look good. My favorite path in the game, apparently. I use it all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might blend in a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good, okay. Um, all right, so, whoa, whoa, what's happening there? Holy cow, that was crazy. Let's just squeeze this down right to the edge of the curb here. Same thing. Yeah, you know what, I kind of like this. Even though this is in the middle here, it kind of lends itself to the fact that like it's, you just walk through over here kind of thing. Um, I wonder what it's gonna look like if we pave this area in. Yeah, not too bad. I think some planters will have to go here to hide that. But over here we can get uh, some nice uh, assets in. 
Uh, so why don't we look at just going into our park tool here. It's too big. Uh, I don't think these are necessarily going to work in this situation. I've got a gazebo through here. But, yeah, uh, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's just look at getting these planters in. Because that's, this will also hide the transition zone right here. Alright, very nice. And then we'll just add in a couple trees. Now let's go to the line. Okay, very good. You know what, we'll just go to single here. Back to the line. You know, right to the curb here. There we go. Just one big one, eh? And then, just like that. Perfect, okay, yeah, very nice, very nice. Very cool looking building. And look at that, we have so many visitors already, holy cow. All right, so now let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next uh, item we're gonna add in, the next uh, workshop asset, uh, which is uh, the new After Dark Moss, which I guess was uh, added to the workshop after the After Dark DLC. Um, it's a beautiful Ottoman style mosque, and I gotta say it is very, very nice looking. I believe this asset will uh, lend very well to the types of buildings we build here. Interesting. I need to get some more. Uh, it's always hard to tell in the workshop uh, whether or not it's gonna kind of work in your city. So uh, my idea was to put this down over here. Miss Quadrant. So we'll do this. And I love how this has the traditional path here. Yeah, very interesting. I think we need to get some more of these uh, different ones of both, uh, of all of all worships. Uh, because I think they're, uh, they're, they really add a lot to the city. Okay, so let's add this path in. Let's turn our guidelines back on. We'll go straight. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. I was really hoping that that was going to happen. Okay, and then there's trees in the way there. So I think what we'll do is we'll get a connection through right there. And uh, pretty simply enough, I think what we can do is maybe add in a plaza just like we did last time. Where are they? They're in parks. There they are. I wonder if that's going to look nice. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of centers it too. Or what we can do, let's go with this one, which fills in a bit more. People will walk through it as well if we leave that uh, that pavement there. But we don't have to. Uh, let's turn segments on. Actually, let's just uh, let's just redo the whole thing. There we go. Easy as that, isn't it? Um, oh, the fountain could look nice. That actually kind of centers itself pretty well. But, uh, yeah, maybe not. Alright, so we'll just make sure we center this really nicely to this bus stop. Very cool, okay, and now let's add in some nice trees. Now let's just do them by hand here. Gonna leave that one. Ah, no, it's okay. Okay, very nice. And just to help uh, fill in the space here and leave, make it, make sure that it doesn't look uh, out of place or anything like that. Uh, the fact that we've kind of built out this way without kind of building with it, uh, we're gonna add condos right along here. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, very good. And, uh, you know, we'll, I think we'll just continue this little build really quickly. And we'll get a tree-lined road right here. And we'll try to split the difference between these two. So we're going to have to lean into it, apparently. That's fine with me. 
I think what we'll do is we'll make sure we leave the 4x4 grid over here. And, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Make this whole road trees. Probably a good place to end it, too. Um, I think we'll just bring it out maybe to about there with the non-tree road. And then we'll just fill it in with some... Uh, how about we try to do some mixed density or some mixed use here, too? Uh, maybe let's get a small office here. Maybe some commercial. Just like that. And then we'll get uh, some condos right here. We'll go low density commercial. Really try to spread things out here. Uh, okay, we'll do that. And we'll do like uh, some holdouts on the gentrification of this neighborhood. <laughs> All right, so uh, that should really go in nicely. And this is uh, working like that. We got 17 visitors already. Yeah, very cool. Both assets work, oh, wrong one. Both assets work fantastically. Uh, great additions from the workshop and they look great uh, in your city. So yeah, very cool. All right, so now let's get into uh, the meat and potatoes of the episode, which I hope uh, if I hope I remember to do a timestamp on this video. So if you uh, were specifically looking for this content, uh, we would uh, you could just jump right over here and uh, check it out. So uh, we're gonna add some bike lanes throughout the city. The city has no bike lanes, and we have just enough time to do it. I pointed over here. This is where my recording button is. Uh, recording for just over 20 minutes on my end. So, uh, bike lanes. Bike lanes are a very efficient way of getting around the city. Uh, safely, too, uh, because people do bike in this game still. But uh, without bike lanes, you know, in, in real life, it's a bit more dangerous. Um, so, this is the... It came with the After Dark DLC. Uh, that's the vanilla one, but I have a bunch of... Same with this one. I have a bunch of ones from the workshop. Oh, this one did, too. And we'll look at using them strategically as well. So, I've been putting this off for way too long because I wanted to dedicate a video to this so whoa um, so let's, uh, let's dive into it I have an idea of one particular road that I want to make into a, uh, a bike lane and that is Main Street which uh, I think we just put the synagogue on Main Street here goes all the way down over here turns into a tram road at some point but uh, I think we can divert the bike lanes over here to get it towards the station uh, at another time, or maybe we can divert it along here or something like that. Uh, but this is gonna involve a lot of switching up, but if we follow Main Street along, it goes past through all this open area, which is gonna be developed mainly residential too. It flows right through down the middle of Kings Park. And then it just continues on, and you know, nothing really is Nothing, it's not going to be like game breaking to any uh, roads we have. I mean, these roads are the original roads from the city. And it goes right down to Bathurst and Light. Or Bathurst and Boardwalk, whatever it was called. So, yeah, I think this is going to work out great. Uh, let's start off by just simply uh, starting over here. So, we're going to add. Whoa. This is a bit bigger than I thought it was, apparently. I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of clog up the roads here for our car traffic and we will just upgrade that to the basic bike lane road and you know it might cause some issues it might not uh, the asymmetrical one though might work as well like that and then what we'll do is just take traffic manager flip it around yeah that could work all right, so this road should probably be upgraded anyways, right? So let's look at upgrading that. Yeah, so that is a bigger road than I was expecting it to be. Darn, that kind of puts a little bit of a wrench in my plans, to be honest with you all. I thought this was gonna be just like a, a road of this length. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go with the basic vanilla road through here. And you know what? This 
really not a lot of traffic flowing through here anyways. So I think we could get, get away with it. Maybe traffic would increase on these two roads. Uh, so why don't we uh, preemptively think about that. And what we'll do is we will get an asymmetrical road right here and right here. Okay, so now let's go back over and we will make sure that we have some dedicated turning lanes. Okay, that these ones are all good. And that one stay the same. Okay, great. And uh, why don't we also just look at making sure that these are all yields. Oh, yield. Yeah, we want to yield to Main Street here. There's a faster way to do this, but I want to be a bit more meticulous. All right, and then we're right underneath here now, which is fantastic. And we're going to go with the vanilla road. And we're going to take, by doing this, we're taking parking off of this whole road here, which might not be the greatest if you were an avid parker on the road or uh, because all these businesses now don't have street parking, but you know this is going to really inflo uh, increase bike traffic through here, and it's going to really uh, help the city out a lot. I mean, this is a main road we're turning, literally, it's Main Street. We're turning into a bike uh, network here. So it's, instead of making it a tram, we're still making it friendly to the cars, and we're making it friendly to bikes. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go back down to. Oh no. What were those? I think there were rocks that I deleted. Got to be a bit more careful there, Steven. Let me check the trees out. Got to be a bit more careful there, Steven. Okay, we'll turn our property energy back on. And, oh yeah, there was a fire here before uh, the episode. So that's why it looks like that. All right, so we'll just do that. Perfect. And uh, those leaves will come back. <laughs> All right, so bike path, uh, turn collision off, turn collision back on, make sure it actually works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, so now we're going back down to this four lane one. Oh, I deleted another thing. Holy moly, Steven. Uh, we'll do that and we'll get just our basic road like that. Gonna bring it down. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that big plane went overhead. Rumble in my house. Okay, uh, let's continue with the bike lanes. And we are just going to bring it all the way out to the synagogue. Oh no. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm ruining everything we just built. There we go. Perfect. Like nothing ever happened. Um, by the way, uh, something I've been meaning to do for a while, we have, don't have a zoo and we don't have a uh, amusement park yet. So those are places or some things that I'm going to need to add in. And I'm excited to do those. I love uh, building uh, zoos and amusement parks in this game. All right, and then we'll just continue going down here. Make sure I did it. I did. And then after this, we're at the tram intersection here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to downgrade this road. And as a bit of a marker for pedestrians and everyone and the tram and drivers, we're going to put some trees on this one, just as a bit of a, to make it, you know, stand out. And then we shall go back to our bike network and we're going to add an asymmetrical road. Yo, oh, darn. <laughs> uh, like that, so that cars can turn this way. And then we'll also add an asymmetrical road. Ah, no, I think we'll just go with the normal one. That's fine. Like so. And, ooh, didn't we say we were going to bring it down all the way, didn't we? Because now bikes can't get up to the station. Oh, they still can. Okay, we'll bring them down right here. And, oh, this should definitely definitely be asymmetrical. We could flip it like that so that uh, we increase tra uh, some traffic flow through here. All right, that's a good idea. 
So we just gotta make sure we set this up again. We're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Good. All right. Uh, so we're gonna we're going to come over here, and we do have a bus stop right here. Hmm. Usually it's fine, and in the real world, obviously, to have bus stops by bike stops or bike lanes. But I think, personally, I would be a bit uncomfortable if I was a biker, and uh, bus stops were pretty close by. So I think what I'll do here, guys. I'll just move these stops. Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Yeah, there we go. So it avoids the bike lane altogether. It just has this one intersection. Well, you know, honestly, I don't mind them coming over here though, because now there's gonna be they're gonna be clogging up the train. Okay, we do have a stop over here, so why don't we move these stops right here then, if we're going to do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right in front of the a touristy building, too. Which needs pavement. Haha. -ha. I caught that. Okay. Uh, let's back out of that. Let's go to uh, this bike path right here. So, we downloaded recently a really cool asset from the workshop. Which there's a bunch of, I'm sure. Pedestrian, decorated path for pedestrians and bikers, trees and lights. Perfect. You know, I wish it was uh, one of these ones though. Yeah, let's go with this one. Because this one looks like it is uh, the basic path. And those basic paths don't terraform to the ground as well, unfortunately. So let's just do that. And uh, why don't I look at getting some of these little brambles here to help fill in the look of this. But I think it, I think it turned out pretty nicely though. Okay, let's get uh, maybe some of these some bushes or something. Right alongside here. Yeah, pretty good, okay. And uh, now bicyclists can come all the way up to this intersection here where they can probably have a, a bike rack here or something like that. And they can hop on the train. Fantastic, okay. So uh, now that means that the bicyclists can come all the way over here Go right down Main Street, get all the way into the original city. But there needs to be a way for them to go north, isn't there? I think we're good over here with uh, dedicated turning lanes. Yeah, that's exactly the way we want it. Okay, so uh, looking at how the city situates itself, there are two opportunities that I want to kind of take to do this. Uh, let's resume the game. One of them is to get a bicycle connection from here along this bridge, right down Main Street here, or an unnamed street, Robert Street. Ooh, if you'd like to name Robert Street, uh, let me know. And then we're gonna take it right out over here and it's gonna get right out into the university here. So I think we'll have another opportunity to have a bike connection somewhere here as well. So maybe at this intersection here, we'll flow it right up into there as well. So the university is going to be kind of surrounded by bike lanes. So that's what we'll do. We're going to upgrade it from this one here. All right. So I think what we'll do, though, is we're going to preemptively get the six lane road in here. And oh, no. Okay, and then we're going back down to ground level. And uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to manipulate the bus lines the way... Oh, crud. Oh, darn. I made a mistake. We'll do that. Hopefully that uh, 
Didn't take it off, it didn't, okay. I was trying to fix this. It looks like there's a node right here, just causing a bit of an issue. So I'm gonna swing this down and hopefully we can fix it now. There we go. Same thing. And we're just gonna go right up Robert Street. Oh, this one has the same issue. That's very strange. Looks like it's something to do with uh, those bus lanes there. Or bus, uh, buses. All right, so we're here now. This is a busy intersection. There's a fire station right over there. Uh, I think what we'll have to do though is we'll just go down to this one. And then we're gonna go to the asymmetrical. And then they'll get off their bikes here and then they'll hop into the university where the university, is a, which is a private institution, doesn't maintain their bike paths. Darn university. <laughs> okay, so pretty simply enough, these bicyclists, or these bicyclists, bicyclists will be able to get pretty much anywhere. Okay, we're just going to make sure that we have dedicated turning lanes in the direction that we're looking for. Okay, well, we don't need ones there. Definitely need them there and here. And then this node right here needs to change. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna say it's a middle node and that doesn't work. So we're gonna say it's a bend. That doesn't work really either. So we're gonna square, does that work? No, uh, I guess we'll make it a custom node. And what I'll do is I'll just put it together. We're gonna have a bit of a gap there. Oh, people are walking across it. That is not what, that's kind of what I was hoping to avoid. So let's uh, turn those crossings off there, folks. Yeah, that doesn't look horrible from a distance. I'll play around with it off camera to see if I can make it look a bit better. But we also need to make sure we've dedicated turning lanes here. Okay. So, uh, technically, maybe this one should be a bike lane, but we'll have to make it an asymmetrical one for the sake of these buildings here. Uh, maybe what I can do is, we'll give dedicated turning lanes. I'll go into the network multi-tool and I'll add in a node right here. And this will allow us to flip this side around. And, do some dedicated turning lanes, okay. And that way we can get, this one won't be a bike lane, but at least now there is a bike lane into this area, right? Um, well, maybe we can bring the bike lane down here. Okay, and then we will just make this whole section a bike lane. And uh, how about we bring it uh, down like this? And uh, we'll just kind of make sure everyone can uh, use it from there. All right, so with that in mind, we now have some really good connections here. We have a connection up north here. And now let's look at making another connection. So this is a tram road, so, we'll, so we won't be able to do that. We'll have to avoid that at least. But I think we might be able to use this one to get the bike lanes into the university. So I know I said this one before, but this is a, a interconnection, inter intersection, highway intersection, highway off ramp, what's, whatever the word is. <laughs> um, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, just swing it down right over here. And, oh, you know what? Why don't we just uh, make it a loop like that? That's fine. Okay, very good. And could potentially get a bike lane down this way, but I think just simply making these ones bike lanes. Ooh, maybe we can get uh, the bike lane going all the way through here. Yeah, that's good. That's that's probably enough bike lane for uh, this uh, for the university. Um, but it would be nice if we could get that bike lane 
right through here, wouldn't it? Then if we upgrade this path underneath here to the bike path and pedestrian path, we'll just do this whole square here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do the whole square. Okay, we'll do uh, this one. Okay, whoa, we lost uh, a house or something like that. I don't really know what happened. And we'll just scooch this around until we get uh, the proper connections. And I think I'll leave the rest. Actually, let's just upgrade it all. Why not? Why not, right? It's the name of the game. Okay, and then we'll do this one too. Oh, whoa, hey, yo. None of that now. All right, so uh, let's just use, move it here to increase how this looks. Cause like, what the heck is that, eh? Oh, it's Surface Painter that's uh, ruining it. Probably should just do this. Okay, we'll add it back in over here. And uh, I think we just need to kind of tweak this whole thing. Okay, yeah, this looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Okay. We'll just do that and call it a day. We could just pay this all in like we had it before. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. All right. That works. Um, and then we just need to make a bit of a bike network and we'll run the bike network down High Street, maybe. I don't really want to mess with High Street, though. But it is a way to get bikes through here. I think what I'll do is I'll just make a connection with bikes over here and then we'll leave it until we expand over this way because I think a better option would be to take it down Oak Avenue here and then I can get into the city because uh, High Street we've decorated with some nice painting of the roads and I don't really want to mess with that too too much though it would be really good to get a bike lane through here. I'll see what I can do. Why don't we uh, do some preemptive planning then? So let's grab this. Whoa, is prop and tree anarchy on? Prop and tree anarchy is on, Steven. He turned it on earlier because I made a mistake. And now I made a mistake by forgetting to turn it off. Uh oh. I really don't like to see that. That's fine. But it looks like this whole road needs to be rebuilt in my eyes. I don't know if he caught why, but the issue was, oh, that was the highway too, wasn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, the issue was that it wasn't a smooth connection and that really bugs me. Oh, and for some reason, even the property anarchy is on. Is collision off? Collision is off. Haha, -ha, that is why. Silly me. There we go. I really hope I didn't mess anything else up then because of that. But let's look at... Okay, what the heck. Let's look at getting that bike lane in. And what we'll do is I'll just try to line it up from here. That's pretty good. There we go. Now we had a nice gridded section there. And I think what we'll do actually is we'll make this whole street three lanes. And we'll upgrade the three lanes to there so we have an automatic off. Mm, I could also do it right up to here. Probably a better idea. And then we'll go down. Ah, we'll just do the whole thing. Okay. And then this doesn't need to be. Whoa. Collision. There we go. Collision. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a nice connection into the city this way. Then we'll go down to our two lane road or our four lane. And our connection is right here, isn't it? Okay, so we'll bring this all the way over and I might as well just connect it up. 
There we go. There it is. And let's upgrade this. And we'll bring this one right over like this. Okay, nice, we kept the grid intact. And then we also have this connecting over here, don't we? Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade collision. Collision, there we go. I'm gonna upgrade that. Actually, let's put that back to, yeah. We'll just make this one uh, normal because I kind of want parking over here, so. But I think we can probably get a bike lane here, though. So, bike. Ooh. The zoning is off. Weird. Weird stuff. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Bike lanes, bike lanes. Okay, we'll do that. And I'll just kind of do this to encourage biking. Okay, let's actually uh, pause and we'll put this one back. Because I forgot that was in front of a school. Yeah, that's fine, okay. All right, so this now connects up. We can have future bike connections uh, at a later date, but before I forget to change this back, I would like to just make it a normal paved connection through here. And this way we have a bike connection all the way through here and right down Oak Avenue, I think is what it was called. Dixon Avenue, Dixon. I think, I think it was called Oak. And this connects to Ward Street. And Ward Street does a really interesting thing. It runs parallel to the tram network. It runs down over here. And it runs right up to Phillips, which connects up over here. Hmm. Right up to this major intersection here with uh, a bridge. Um, so, why don't we look at doing some bike lanes over here? Bike. Okay, so let's find our connection over here. Bike lane, bike lane, bike lane. We're going to run right past this school. Right across this main road, right across the tram network. Right down through here and over. Collision. Collision. One way to fix this. So literally just do this with move it and press control Z. Um, okay, and we'll run. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll run the bike lane one more over here. Oh, tunnel. Jeez, what was I thinking? There we go. We could run it a bit farther. Now, there's no point in having the bike lane there. There's no point in the bike lanes over here. Oh, gotta do this again. Bloop. Undo. Perfect. Bike, okay, so this one's gonna be flying up here. We can connect up over here, but it also means that we can do this. Bring it all the way up through here. And I think we'll just leave it at that because this isn't really this is a bit of a bus area. If people really wanted to, they could just simply get off the bike and, uh, and we'll take it down to there. Yeah, they get into the park that way. All right, so we're gonna swing all the way down here. Looks like this bus is having trouble figuring itself out, but I wonder if we can upgrade uh, this bridge to the bicycle path bridge. It looks like we can. Very nice. I really like the looks of this. Uh, Laura Secord Boulevard is one of the original names given for the city, and this is what we're changing. Running right down here. Oh no! Wow, 
Come on, Gur. There we go. Oh, I see what, what was happening. Uh, no guidelines, please. Let me just place it in. There we go. Um, and I should really be more careful with that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Almost did it again. Collision. There we go. We connect up with this bike lane, which is nice. Which is the first one we placed, if you remember correctly. Okay. We're going to bring this right through here and connect it up with this park. Very good, very good. So not the most efficient bike networks uh, you've ever seen in your life. And also not the most efficient bike networks for the city as a whole. I mean, some of these suburbs don't even really even have bike lanes. But that's what uh, happens in a lot of suburbs, right? So we have none over in Strathcona. We only have one over here, but maybe we can connect another one over this way. So we came over this way. Ah, not really. Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's do one more. That was another suggestion, which was to run a bike path behind these houses along the tram. I wonder how feasible that's going to be in a short period of time. We might lose a couple here, which is fine. Okay, let's start off by just upgrading some of these roads to bike lanes. Actually, no, let's not. Let's uh, start with this. Okay, free form. Nice. I'm going to try not to lose anything we've built. But I think I'm going to have to sacrifice some fences at some point, which I will come back and fix, I promise. But I won't do it on camera because uh, that's just going to take up more of your time. Alright. We're going to lose that house there, unfortunately. I think Mark suggested doing this back when we built this neighborhood a long time ago, uh, but things got in the way, and I kind of just I kind of put it on the back bench for when we did this episode. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's run it like that, and we'll run it to connect up right here. All right, so let's uh, look at upgrading a couple of these roads here, uh, two bike lanes. I mean, this whole thing could be a bike lane, but this is the bike lane. So I think what I'll do is I'll just upgrade that one to encourage the connection. And I'll do a couple. Every other one will run a bike lane connection. Yeah, very good. Okay. And uh, yeah, you know what? I think we might be able to squeeze in the fence fixes. Okay, maybe not. I will uh, tweak these as needed because I think the rail is what's going to have to move. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we're jumping over here now. We only lost like one house in the process too. Okay, and then we're over here now. Nice. Look at that, everyone. Holy cow. Okay, so let's check some of these houses. Yeah, we lost a couple, but uh, pretty simply enough, I think I can just manipulate the, uh, the lots that we lost to get some cool, unique houses back. It's got a really long one there for some reason. I don't know. Um, all right, and we didn't really lose anything over here. We connect up, swing over here, and then they can connect up with the rest of the bike network should they wish okay so that is pretty much everything guys um quite a big bike lane connection here let's just zoom out We've got a bike lane running from over here around the lake all the way across the city to the here we have a bike lane running from here all the way up north like this we have a couple other connections that run from here 
and then from here. So I think we thoroughly increased cycling traffic through the city. And I wonder if we can spot any cyclists on this bridge. Yep, we got, oh, yeah. Sabrina Copper, Cooper, Cooper. Riding along this bicycle bridge. And uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll end with this, everyone. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Have a lovely day. Oh, they're not going on the bike. The, the bike. Oh, they got on the bus. Okay, well, have a lovely day, everyone. And uh, let's uh, let's find a cool picture to end on. Where's a cool little bike lane we have? Let's go to Kings Park. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, there we go. And peace out.